Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this is day six of this seven day watercolor challenge. Basically every day produce a painting, um, record that and then upload it onto YouTube. Today's painting is a pretty um, typical Irish landscape. If you've never been to Ireland, um, a lot of it is small fields divided by hedgerows and very green. And that's basically what I'm, I'm doing here. These blue lines that I'm putting in, these are the hedgerows, just to create that feeling of sort of a patchwork of fields. As I've said before, my paintings tend to be um, a little more abstract. Um, sometimes they are more abstract than other times. This one's maybe a little less abstract. All of these paintings are not done from any reference photos or anything like that. It's mostly just my memory and a bit of imagination. With landscapes, even if they are a little bit abstract, um, like some of mine are, I still want people to read them as landscapes. And one of the things that I can do to try and help people read them as landscapes is to create a feeling of depth. So there's a few things that I'm doing in this painting. Uh, first of all, the hedgerows, the, the hedgerow that's further down the page is larger than the hedgerow that's a little bit up the page. So that's linear perspective. Basically, the bottom part of the paint or the bottom part of the paper is closer to us. That's the foreground. The bit in the middle then is the middle ground and then the top part of the paper is the, the background and the sky. So as you move down the paper, things should get larger according to um, linear perspective. And that helps to create some feeling of depth. Another thing, that middle ground field, I put in some light phyllo green, but then I lifted off some of the, the pigment with a, a dry brush. Basically, I wanted to reduce the saturation of the color because again, that can help a little bit to create the sense of depth. If the foreground is very saturated color, and especially this cadmium yellow that I use, it can sort of help to create that feeling of depth as well. Another thing that you can use, again, this is going back to linear perspective. In the foreground, so at the bottom of the paper, um, there'll be more detail or more implied detail. So I'm using the cadmium yellow to suggest some kinds of flowers or something like that. And you can see in the foreground, the blobs of yellow are separated and they're larger. Whereas as you get, work your way up the paper towards the middle ground, there aren't as many individual blobs of yellow. They all sort of merge together. And again, that's sort of linear perspective. Our eyes cannot resolve as much detail as we move further away. So this is then the scan of the final painting. Um, I leave it up to you to decide if I've created this sense of depth. But anyway, I think those ideas are somewhat valid ideas for um, creating some feeling of depth within paintings. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully see you again tomorrow.